boys and girls, welcome to your ECA. Today we are going to be making a paper snowflake craft and we are going to get ready for our winter season. Okay, so for this craft you only need two items. You need a piece of plain white A4 paper and a pair of scissors. You could also use a, a different coloured piece of paper, maybe light blue or blue, to replicate a snowflake. Um, but just make sure it's thin paper, nothing too thick like card, otherwise it will be difficult to cut. Okay, let's get started then. Are you all ready? Right, our first step that we need to do is we need to make the paper into a square. So I'm just going to put the camera down a little bit now, okay, to show you. So how we do this, the long side, we take one of the corners and we bend it down so that it's straight in line with the other long side. Can you see that? Okay, so I've just bent it down so that it's right in line with the other straight side. Now, make sure that you just press this down nice and strong, okay? So, it should look a little bit like this. Now, you can see here, this rectangle part, we're just going to chop it off because we won't need that. And that's what's going to make our square. So, just get your scissors and cut along that rectangle and chop it off. And you'll be left in the shape of a triangle when folded out is your square. Okay, so just fold it back into the triangle again. Feel free to pe press pause at any point through this video. Okay, so now you have got your big triangle. We are going to make it a little bit smaller. So you see the longest side of the triangle. We are going to fold that, okay, one point of the longest side to the other point, okay, into another triangle. And again, just push that down, make it nice and flat, as flat as you can get it, okay? Now, we've got an even smaller triangle, yeah? Now again, can you find that long side? We are just going to fold it one more time to make an even smaller triangle. Remember, press pause if you need to press pause. Okay, got an even smaller triangle now. Now we're going to open it back up, okay? So you should have a line down the middle of that triangle. Can you see? Right, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, okay? So watching very carefully, you're going to put this down flat in front of you. And then from one of the sides, like a paper aeroplane, you're going to fold it to that middle crease. Can you see that middle crease? Fold it nice and carefully. I'll just show you that again. After you've got your tiny triangle, you'll see the crease right down the middle. Fold the side so it matches that crease, the straight line. Okay, you might need your mum and dad to help you with this one. You're going to do exactly the same on the other side, just like you would on a paper aeroplane, okay? Fold it right to the center and push it down as strong as you can, as flat as you can, okay? So we did have the triangle like this, but then we folded both sides in like a paper aeroplane, okay? So we should have something that looks like this. Okay, right, after that, you're going to put it down face up so that your flaps are up. And then you're going to 
fold it together in on itself, okay? So where the flaps are up, fold it together in on itself. And now just be as strong as you can and push it down. Now you should have something that looks like this. Right, now, the part that is spiky and you can see all the sides are popping out. We don't need that part now, so you can get your scissors and you're just going to cut right across it and get rid of that end piece, okay? Yeah? So now you're left with like an ice cream cone. The next thing we're going to do is the pointy bit. We're just going to cut a little shape off the pointy bit as well. So we've chopped at both ends now. Now is the fun part. You can start making your patterns. So let's see. Can you see? The part that doesn't fold out, we're going to call this part the stem. But the part that does fold out, okay, we're going to do lots of shapes in this part. So keep it nice and flat together. And you can take your scissors and start adding some shapes in now. You can add all the way across the top and the foldy part. Okay, as many as you like. I'm going to do some semicircles, maybe some triangles at the top. You see? I might do some rectangles. Now, if the paper is too tough to cut, you might need to get mums and dads just to help you a little bit with the scissors on this one. Now, oh, I've still got lots of white space on my snowflake, so I'm going to chop a little bit more. Okay, might put a little triangle in there. Could even do half a love heart as well. Should we put a little love heart shape in? Let's see. I'll show you in a minute when I've just chopped this. Can you see I've just done a little half of a love heart? Okay, now the fun part about these snowflakes is you can do any shapes you want and explore. When you're done, you can open them up and see what wonderful, unique snowflake pattern you have created. So carefully open it up and you should have your snowflake okay that's it for our ECA today don't forget you can replay it and pause it on the step-to-step -step instructions have fun and explore making different shapes you can see the little triangle ended up making a diamond and the circles and look at the rectangles there they've made an arrow so you can explore lots of different shapes and have fun with this activity. I hope you enjoyed that video today and I can't wait to see your snowflakes. When you have finished and created your snowflake, I would love it if you could send me an email and I'll just pop my email address at the end of this video. So send me an email of you holding up your snowflake, then I can see all of the wonderful patterns that you have created. Okay then, right boys and girls, have fun. I can't wait to see your snowflakes. Bye.